Welcome friends to the fifth game of the Anand Carlson match and uh, today we have Anand with the white pieces. What was very interesting is what would Carlson play today is black because he got a bad position out of the opening in the Grunfeld against 1d4 and uh, then he lost the third game uh, with the Queen's Gambit decline. So today to d4 he came out with the Queen's Indian which is supposed to be one of Carlson's favorite uh, defenses and after g3 he didn't go for the main line with uh, bishop a6 but instead continued bishop b4 check and uh, bd2 bishop b7 uh, knight c3 I think this is a, a, an excellent move by Anand uh, it's a small opening subtlety because uh, bishop g2 is usually played but then black can play c6 and um, one of the biggest experts in this line is Sergi Tivyakov who plays who has played a lot of games in this so the point is that after uh, knight c3 uh, if black goes for bishop b7 bg2 c6 now uh, which is what Carlson played white could immediately play e4 and uh, just going back here if you play bishop g2 c6 and now knight c3 then i can play d5 and you can no longer go e4 so small uh, subtlety but uh, you can bank on anand knowing all these things so knight c3 bishop b7 bg2 c6 and uh, anand went for the most uh, ambitious line e4 d5 and there are a few ways to play here uh, c into d5 cd5 e5 is one of the main moves mm. and then after knight e4 black is doing pretty okay and the other line which anand went for here ed cd knight e5 uh, this is supposed to be very safe line for white uh, he doesn't risk much but at the same time it's very difficult to hope for an advantage so after castle castles uh, this was uh, a nice move by Carlson. Of course, this has all been played before knight c6. And after cd5, again a very accurate move by Carlson taking knight into e5. Because if you play knight takes d5, then after knight d5, ed5, bishop f4, uh, the difference is in between these two bishops uh, and white has a small edge. And um, so after knight e5 even ed5 would not be so good because the bishop on b7 would once again be very passive here so Carlson played a nice move knight e5 his idea is that if you take d5 he will go knight d5 knight d5 bishop d5 bishop takes and uh, you know maybe if not bishop takes maybe bishop c3 and black has absolutely no problems after bishop g2 so this should be equal so if Anand wanted to try for anything here, uh, he went uh, d6, which is interesting. And um, black went back knight c6, d into e7, queen e7, bishop g5, uh, pinning the knight. The threat is now to play d5, so h6. And uh, if d5 here, then uh, knight a5 would just uh, transpose to the game. But... Uh, he played bishop f6, queen f6, d5, knight a5, and uh, d into e6 would be uh, is what Anand played. But bishop g2 would be a mistake because after e into f7, rook f7, king g2, white is just a pawn up. So uh, queen e6 was correct, rook e1, queen f6, and uh, excellent move by Vishy uh, right now, knight d5. Uh, I was expecting him to maybe move his queen here, maybe something like queen a4, but uh, really uh, knight uh, d5 is very strong. Uh, the point is that you could, cannot take this b2 pawn, I mean you could take it but it's really very risky after rook e2, queen a3, rook e3 and uh, suddenly black queen is running out of squares because uh, the point is after queen c5 rook c1 is very strong queen doesn't have many squares and if you go queen b2 then rook b1 queen into a2 rook a1 
and after something like queen c4 white can just play rook a5 b a5 knight <clears throat> e7 check and win the b7 bishop when he would have at least a small advantage so uh, excellent piece of calculation by anand i am not sure whether he calculated everything but i think his uh, feel for the position surely gave him the uh, nod for going knight d5 here it's very risky to take the b2 pawn so bishop d5 is what magnus played which was once again uh, the correct response according to me and after bishop d5 rook a d8 anand went queen f3 and uh, this was the position on the board when i started recording this video so i feel that black will take on f3 and after bishop f3 he will activate the knight to c4 uh, and p2 is hanging so after b3 this position let's just assume if uh, white goes black goes knight d2 bishop g2 um, who is better well i would say that uh, white has a small edge because bishops are usually good in open positions and there are pawns on both the sides of the board here you can see here and also on the king side so that means that bishop is usually a stronger piece in such scenarios but uh, on the other hand the advantage is uh, so minuscule that uh, any uh, inaccuracies by white and black would be very close to equality and such positions are uh, very much what Carlson likes to play and so I feel that uh, though Vichy has the better position here the most likely result of the game should be a draw though you can never say uh, for sure but let's just see what happens in the next few moves but as of now this is uh, I am Sagar Shah signing off from the first half of game number five.